Good morning everybody and once again welcome back to the channel. In this particular video uh, we are going to learn how to connect to AWS Glue data catalog using AWS Glue Iceberg REST endpoint. So in this particular uh, lab what I would do is I would create a sample mock iceberg table using Athena. Once that is done I would show you how you can leverage uh, AWS Glue Iceberg REST endpoint connect to it right and query uh, your uh, tables uh, locally from your from, from your Jupyter notebook or your PySpar script uh, and again uh, we are going to be using uh, AWS glue iceberg rest endpoint for that so uh, I hope you are excited and uh, you know let's uh, begin the lab all right all right so for the lab uh, we need a mock table first uh, so what I will do is I will copy this particular command I will go to my AWS environment and then I am going to create a table this should create an iceberg table here as you can see customers right cool and now let me insert some data into it all right it is running as you can see and i have some data to play with so if i do preview table i should be able to query my tables right now right lovely uh, but now if i also go to my glue catalog and if i refresh i do have a table called customer which is in the default database and this is the warehouse uri now let's learn how you can leverage AWS Glue Iceberg REST endpoint. Okay. Now first uh, we are going to define um, our catalog name. This could be anything that you like. Account ID. This is the AWS account ID that you want to use. I think I have repeated code over here. So I will remove this one. Now I will execute the cell. Now we will have to define packages. Uh, we need uh, four packages for this particular uh, one. One is the dot uh, uh, com dot amazon aws colon aws hyphen java hyphen sdk bundle and then of course the version then we also need the aws hadoop package then we also do need software dot amazon dot aws sdk colon bundle and of course the version that you want to use and then of course the iceberg spark uh, uh, jar file uh, package right so i'm going to execute this particular cell and then I'm simply going to create a Spark session over here. As you can see, my Spark session is ready. I'm, 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 I'm using Spark 3.4.0. And now I'm, I, I, can re I can query my uh, Glue catalog, right? So if I go to my databases, I, I do see a default, right? And I have a table inside that, right? So if I do show catalog, it will show me all the catalogs that are available. Then what I'm doing is I'm uh, saying, hey, inside the catalog, show me all the namespace that you have. Inside namespace, then I'm going to uh, see all the tables that are there and then I'm going to query that particular table. So I will execute the cell. And uh, here you can see I do have two catalogs. Uh, my data catalog is the name that we gave and the Spark is the default catalog, right? Inside uh, that uh, my data catalog, I can see a namespace called default. Inside that particular namespace, I do see a table called customer, which we just created using Athena. Uh, of course, we can uh, do a describe table there. And then of course, you're able to query this particular data. So it's literally that easy. And in this particular lab, what you have learned is how you can use a Glue data catalog using AWS Glue Iceberg REST endpoint. So I hope you have enjoyed the particular video and lab and this particular code snippets would be there on my blog so you can refer to it and you can try this out locally if needed. With that being said, keep smiling, keep programming and I will see you in the next video.